Hey everyone, I am back from the Pro Tour, and that means that we have a bunch of sweet standard decks to play with. It means Battle for Zendikar is out on Magic Online, and it means that this is the first time I get to record playing a league. So I am pretty excited. This should hopefully go pretty well. Uh, I'm playing basically the Pantheon's Jeskai list, because it, it looks kind of like the most well-tuned deck for the Pro Tour. and uh, Overall... Not too crazy, you know, pretty normal Jeskai happenings with some Jaces, some Soulfires, some Manus Riders, and whatnot. Uh, but there are two cool things that I really liked. The first is the use of uh, Kolagon's Command and Ojitai's Command to bring back Dragon Master Outcast. So we saw some of the decks on the Open Series that were playing, you know, just the Ojitai's Command to bring back the Outcast, but I really like Kolagon's Command also in the mirror matches. So. Uh, you get to pick off their Jace and return your own Jace and whatnot, and it gives you six things to make this Outcast come back in the late game, uh, along with the second Outcast in the sideboard. So uh, that gives you a pretty nice long game. And the second thing that is sweet is the use of Tassiger. And most of the decks were playing... One second, moving this puppy. Most of the decks uh, on the open series were playing Treasure Cruise or Dig. I prefer Treasure Cruise because it does not get hit with Dispel. Uh, but this deck is a little bit different, so this one's going to play Dig instead. But uh, Tassiger basically is there instead of Cruise, which I really like. Uh, at least, you know, the idea of. So people are going to try and beat you with things like Mastery of the Unseen, and, uh, Outpost Siege, and whatnot. And Tassiger is just this big fat body that dies to cards that are generally not that good against Jeskai, things like Roast and Valorous Dance. So, uh, I like the idea of having this very undercosted beater. Uh, you can take out their big creatures with things like Crackling Doom, which is nice. You get to clear the way for Tassiger, or you get to protect it with Dispel. So, uh, I like that idea. I'm not sure how that necessarily played out in practice in the Pro Tour and whether or not that was a big deal or not, but it certainly seems like it could be. Uh, so, I want to try it out. Uh, they also had a Sarkin at the top end, which I kind of like. Uh, I like just having, like, a, a big card that you can find and, uh, something that's high impact, you know, is basically like a Flame Tongue Kavu uh, on turn 5 or so, uh, or it is just this big hasty threat that can attack Gideon, ally of Zendikar, so, uh, I like the idea of this also. The only thing that is really different about their, their list from mine is I have a Horribly Awry, instead of an Utter End and a Shock instead of a Crackling Doom. Uh, I like Fiery Impulse more than Wild Slash, I think. Um, but I, I do agree that like Crackling Doom plus Jace with all the commands, like just being able to make sure that you get to Doom away all their big things over and over and over again, is probably going to be very, very good. So maybe I am in the wrong here for cutting this Crackling Doom, but we'll see. Uh, and the other big thing is the Mana Base. I do not have Dry Lands. I do not like Dry Lands. They interact very poorly with Battlelands, so uh, instead I'm playing a bunch of Evolving Wilds, and I don't claim that this mana base is perfect, but uh, this mana base is very similar to some mana bases that uh, I had leading up to the Pro Tour in various Jeskai decks. Um, things that you know you might want to look out for are whether or not I need the second planes. I think that's going to be the big one. A lot of my mana bases cut one of the flooded strands for a second planes just because I ended up wanting to fetch that uh, on numerous occasions, but uh, the numbers all look pretty good. I like the fact that Evolving Wilds is effectively whatever color you want it to be, uh, while also being a basic land for your battle lands. So, uh, I do like that aspect. And then the sideboard is pretty much the same as theirs too, except I have a Virulent Plague. Uh, Sam Black's Bant deck is very, very good. Uh, they had three people that went 8-2 and, and one person that went 0-2. Uh, so overall, that seems like the biggest uh, or best performing record for a single deck at the Pro Tour. And uh, I played against it twice, lost to it both times, so I certainly helped pad their record. And uh, it just seemed like a nightmare for my crappy Mardu deck. So uh, I'm kind of interested in playing a Virulent Plague. It might also help against stuff like Green White that are trying to beat you with like Wingmate Rocks and Hangerback Walkers and stuff. So you can actually just take out the Hangerback, not worry about the tokens or... You know, even let even let them get you with a wingmate rock, and then they have like a one-two bird or whatever. It's not it's not really that big of a deal at that point. So, uh, I think Virulent Plague might see an uptick here in the near future. Uh, but that is it. Let's get to some battles.